you know what? I'm not even going to throw it. Uh, what I will do is throw this dog. And this. Uh, so this is the uh, the 3x3. Three three. Uh, I just wanted to throw a cube. Uh, but that's not what we're actually talking about. We're talking about this. Uh, this is the uh, the gear ball. It's a very strange cube. I'm going to talk about it. Um, and I, I put the three by I threw the three by three because these cubes are pretty similar. I mean, just, just kind of look at them. They're they're kind of similar, you know. Three by three, three by three. It, it sort of makes sense. Uh, they're similar, but uh, I'm just gonna put that back there. But uh, I want to talk about this cube because this is like the oldest, like the longest surviving of all of my cubes. Uh, which is kind of crazy because I've had many, 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 many cubes, but uh, probably half of them have broken. I've probably had 30 to 40 cubes, different kinds of cubes, and probably half of them have broken. Uh, but this one has survived somehow. Uh, I got this, this thing back all the way in 2016. Uh, when I was just starting my YouTube channel, and I put this on a video back in 2016, uh, a Rubik's Cube collection video, and hardly talked about it, but I'm gonna cover it, because one, I was kinda bored of videos, uh, and two, I just wanted to make another Rubik's Cube video, and I had this thing, so, so, uh, yeah, I wanna talk about it. We're first gonna talk about, like, how it moves, um... No, actually, no. Before we do that, I just want to talk about what this thing actually is. It is a gear cube, so it moves with gears. As you can see, you know, this thing looks like a gear. It moves with gears, uh, which means that it is limited in its in its uh, total combinations. I did not find the total combinations for this thing, but in case you were wondering, the uh, the 3x3 three three, uh, gear cube has around 40,000 combinations. I just could not find uh, the total number for this online, so that kind of sucks, but uh, it is limited. Uh, just If you move the right side down, the left side goes up. You cannot move, like, like say you want to hold the left side by itself and turn the right side up. It moves the center with it at a different speed, or, at, yeah, because of the gears. Uh, so if you were to move the center just up to the yellow side here, it would move the right side twice. So it is very strange how it moves. Uh, speaking of, like, the, the colors, uh, this, this, uh, cubed ball does have a different color scheme than this, just a little different though. As you can see, this is white and yellow opposite, orange and red opposite, green and blue opposite. Pretty simple. But this cube has a completely different algorithm, uh, not algorithm, color scheme. Oh, well, it's, it's mostly different. The green and the blue are still opposites, but if you see here, a uh, yellow and orange are opposites, and it adds a new color, purple, instead of white. Uh, purple is opposite of red here, so just, you know, take some time to learn that. Take some time to learn how this thing moves. It is a very strange cube. So I'm just going to scramble it and sort of just go through how it works. Uh, another thing, uh, like, as you can see here, you can't, like... They're always going to be, like, opposites. Like, s this cube is very easy to solve, like, because it's all opposites. You have orange and, and yellow on the same side. You're always going to have some sort of opposites on the same side at all times. Green and blue, yellow and orange, red and purple. And if you flip it over, it's, like, well, it's uh, opposite in uh, these four colors, but the green and blue are the same. It is a very strange cube, and uh, I'm just gonna solve it, sort of just break down how I solve it. So, uh, yeah. So, there's like, there's three main steps to this cube. Uh, the first is to solve the edges, uh, the, the mainly just the, the horizontal edges, uh, 
and that's really easy to do. Like, if you have the blue side, say you're trying to solve the blue horizontal uh, edge edges here. Well, no, I'd, I'd, I guess you could count these as centers, I don't know, but edges center these two. Say you want to make these blue, uh, and there's a blue above you on the left side, that means there's going to be a blue below you on the right side, so it's always going to be opposite. So you could just turn it like that, and it'll solve both, which is really cool. And what you can actually do is, like, come over here and, like, look, there's a white... I mean, ugh, a yellow, and there's a yellow down here on the right. That means there's going to be a yellow above you on the left. So you can just move it up like that. And uh, now it's like a normal cube. It's like you can move it, you know, just like that. And uh, I got it to this sort of stage, which is really easy. Say so you have like a line and a center and a line and a center, and it's like a vertical line. And then you have two sides solved. What you can actually do is, I believe, you hold it so that the two are solved on the top and bottom, and you uh, have the center, the unsolved center, facing you, and you turn the right down, and then you move this, you, you basically just move this twice. There's once, there's twice, and then you can move the right back up. And you basically have it solved, except for the corners. Uh... I would call these corners. Um, uh, so the way that you solve this is, I mean, yeah, you can just move it four times, and you'll solve it. So don't think that you've messed up if you've if you've uh, solved like the whole side basically, except for these little uh, edges or corners here. I, you know, what? I'm just gonna call them corners. I don't care. Uh, but the way that you can actually tell how to solve these is, like, if you see that th this is cut in half, there's two colors, blue and yellow. If the yellow is, like, mostly facing away from you, that means you want to turn the right side down. Or, like, say it's, like, a blue, you know, just like this. If the blue is mostly facing away from you and it's on the right side... Or it no sorry it's mostly on the right side. That means you want to turn the right side down and and do a complete loop, because that'll undo the the cogs in the in the uh, gear and it'll turn it back into its original spot. You see it's there, and this cube does lock up. But boom, yeah, just like that. Now say that they're like this. The the blue is on the left side. What you'll do is you'll turn the right side up four times. Easy as as frickin' pie. Uh, I'll probably I'll do I'll definitely do a tutorial on how to solve this cube because this is this is actually a pretty hard cube. Oh, as you can see here, I got a little parody. Um, basically, it's just a little mess up in the cogs uh, here. You can just you know you can move it so that it's in the middle there, and then just move it back into place really easy i'll definitely do a full tutorial on how to solve this cube because it's a very cool concept and it's probably my favorite cube um so so yeah uh that was that was this video uh, i hope you all enjoyed uh i'll i guess i'll see you all in the next video i don't know when it'll be it'll probably be uh, tomorrow. This video will be uploaded tomorrow as well as another one. So, uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.